Hello everyone and welcome to this week's main video. Today it's going to be another real world projects video. Today I'm going to be going over Find My AEP, which is an After Effects general plugin, also in this case a menu item, which will allow you to go to File, Reveal Current Project File, and then it will load up your um, project file in Finder or Explorer, of course if you're on Mac or Windows, allowing you to quickly have access to your project in one click. This one definitely goes in my video series for real world projects because it's probably one of the cooler and more fun projects that I've worked on, uh, allowing you to add this cool new feature to After Effects that honestly should probably have been there in the first place. Before we get started with this video, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel. And down in the description, you can follow us on GitHub for coding updates, as well as Instagram for other live updates. If you're not already a member of our Discord server, make sure you come and join to get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, submit tutorial ideas, hang out with some of our awesome members, and much more. And also down in the description, you can become a channel member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP to help support us financially, as well as get cool perks in return. And there's also links down below to AE Scripts, Gumroad, and Adobe Exchange, where I release cool tools and products. All right, so I gave you a general overview of this project itself, what it does. The timeline for this project, I believe, was late 2021, and the duration of the project was roughly a month. Now, there have been several updates since then I've had to make with some simple fixes like uh, shortcut links to an After Effects project not working appropriately, and some cases with like linked Google Drive or other uh, server drives having an After Effects project in them. I had to go and uh, fix those issues as well later on once um, some users submitted some feedback. And this was a commissioned project, so I charged for the price of the project. The author, MoGraph Mindset, knew up front that they were going to be selling it here on AE Scripts and probably had in mind already if they were going to do a name your own price or if they had maybe a price in mind. But since this is like such like an essential, cool, normal feature that should be in After Effects already, name your own price just makes sense so that way everyone has access to So like I said, the overall project duration was about one month for the main meat of the project. After that, there were some small fixes that needed to be done, such as uh, preparing it for uploading online and having all that set up. Um, but then the other changes I talked about fixing, the bugs that occurred later, uh, was about eight months after initial release. So of course, make sure you have all your project files backed up. So if you do have to come to a project eight months later or even longer, uh, you're not confused and uh, you actually have a backup of your files. I'm not gonna go into the actual code of how this works, obviously, but to basically sum it up, it's an After Effects general plugin or an AEGP plugin, uh, which is just a menu item in this case. Um, and its job is simply to run an operation which does differ on Mac and on Windows. A different operation is required to open up Explore, as is required to open up Finder, and then again to select a file is just a certain flag. And essentially we're just running commands uh, using the power of C++ integrated into your system. And beforehand, if you go back to the one Wayback Machine preserved page, this was actually a script beforehand, um, which you basically just clicked on the AEP button and then it would load up your project the same way. And in fact, in the in the email correspondence we started uh, before this project, he referenced the line of code essentially, which this runs to open up your project, so to speak, which is simply saying app.project.file.execute, which will basically execute your file or open it uh, using the system default settings. So this used to be a script of the same type, um, but having it as a menu item that you don't ever have to worry about launching again is super nice. You don't have to ever worry about opening After Effects and find my AEP has disappeared. It's always going to be there in the file menu. And yeah, I'm just, I really like this project because it's something different. It's not the standard effect plugin that you might think about making. Um, it's not the standard kind of tool utility script that may be more common than not. It's not the common CEP extension like a Motion Bro or a template holding extension. Of course, I love making all of these because each of them presents their own challenges, but this is sort of just such a unique and different type of thing that I got to make. And um, aside from learning a lot of new things about After Effects general plugins through this process, it's just such a cool project, even if it's saving five whole seconds a day. And I guess there is also a reference it's inspired by. So not only was this a previous script, it looks like, or maybe this is reference 
from the scripts times of the page. But there is a thing that's also based on called Where's My AEP, which is also Name Your Own Price, um, which I guess is very similar to Find My AEP. Maybe it just has a slight difference in features. But like I said, this is just super convenient. You install it once and you forget about it and you can use this feature whenever you want. And one more thing, I guess I have to brag a little bit because this these kind of projects do turn out to be really fun and cool just to see how the public's response is, especially after a uh, less than good last release. If you are familiar with the School of Motion newsletter, this particular free plugin happens to have made it into here, which is even cool to see um, when your own work makes it into something that you didn't even know about uh, before or that you didn't expect it to make it into especially when one and two of your things actually makes it into there. And of course, we'll have future tutorials for other stuff that I've worked on, but that's mainly it for this video. I wanted to talk about this really cool, fun project called Find My AEP, which reveals your current project file in a convenient After Effects general plugin or menu item just underneath all of your other file menu options. So of course, go ahead and download it for free or name your own price, um, which I'll put in the link in the description below. Um, this money will go towards MoGraph Mindsets. It does display on my product page, which is kind of cool. You can have this uh, developer uh, sort of IP share and then they'll get paid for their project, but I get to be part of it as well. Um, but all the money will support MoGraph Mindset. So go check it out. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. Down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, again, you can check out uh, my GitHub for coding updates. Of course, the link for this as well. And follow us on Instagram for other live updates. If you haven't joined our Discord server already, make sure you do so, where you can get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, submit tutorial ideas, and much more. And you can also become a channel member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP down in the description as well, where you can help support us financially and get cool perks. And down in the description again, there's links for AE Scripts, Gumroad, and Adobe Exchange to see some other cool tools that I make. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.